friends, it's Alexia, and welcome to the Everything Bling! Today, I am going to be showing you my dance warm-up exercises and stretches that I do at dance. And you can join along, too. If some of the um, stretches or workouts are way too hard for you, that's fine. You can skip them. And I would recommend having a tank top and shorts on. I actually do have a tank top under here, so... I'm good. And shall we get into it? I'm already exhausted talking. <laughs> so let's get into it. So the first thing we are going to be doing is a workout to warm our bodies up. We are going to be doing jumping jacks. So we're going to have eight jumping jacks to the front, eight to the side, eight to the back, eight to the side, four to the front, Four, 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 two, 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 one, 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 and then, yeah. Let's let's do the jumping jacks. I'll be doing it with you, so don't be afraid. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Two, three, four, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, 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 one. All right, take a breather. I know those are a lot of jumping jacks, and I'm going to get a drink of water. Remember to drink throughout this whole thing. So, the next thing, we are going to work our neck. So, we're just going to go right, center, left, center. And then after we go right, center, left, center twice, we'll go up, center, down, center twice. Right, center, left, center. Right, center, left, center. Up, center, down, center. Up. Center, down, center. Now we're just going to lean our head to the right and to the left. We're going to do a big circle and the other way. All right. We're going to raise our hands up and slowly curve it down. You could touch your feet or try touching the floor. Or maybe you can't. Just keep your legs straight. Hold it there and roll up. Now we're going to put our feet together and do the same thing. Hold it, you got this. And roll up. Now I'll show you what I'm doing with my feet right now. So I'm putting my feet just like this, all right? And I'm just gonna roll it down. Keep your legs straight and just relax. And roll it up. Now you're going to separate your feet like this. And hands up, roll it down. And roll it up. Now we are going to be going into a lunge. So you have, we're going to do our right leg first. We're going to have it in front like this. And just straighten our leg out like this. And your leg is like at maybe 45 degrees about. 
Don't have it too far like this, and don't have it too far back like this. Just keep it nice and straight, and just hold it. Now we're going to straighten this front leg just like this. And hold it there. Go back to the lunge. Now what we're going to do is we're going to turn out this leg. We're going to keep this leg straight, but we're just going to turn our body just like that. And point our feet. <laughs> and just push your leg back like that. Don't lean forward. Just keep up straight. And hold it there. <clears throat> You're doing amazing if you made it this far. Now we're going to straighten both of these legs up like this. We're going to put our hands through our legs and pull ourselves. You don't have to do this part if you don't want to. Alright, bring it back to your turned out. <clears throat> and bring it back to your lunge. You can skip this part that's coming up. So you go back to straighten your, le your front leg. You're going to turn out your back leg and split down and hold it there. Now you're going to bring it forward and bring it back. Just like that. We're going to bring our legs together, shake it out, do whatever. Have a break if you need to, but we're going on to the left leg. Do the exact same thing with the left leg. So your lunge, oh, sorry, your lunge, you straighten your leg, lunge, turn it out, straighten both legs, here, lunge, straighten, turn out the foot, split down, front, back. I'm going to be doing this off camera because I don't want to waste too much time. So you could just pause the video here and do your left leg. All right, you're doing amazing, good job. So now we're going to straighten our legs. You can either point them or flex them, but they have to they can't be like in between. I like pointing. So you're going to lift your arms up and just go as forward as you can. It's okay if you're right here and can't go any further. And just hold it there. This helps with your back. And lift up. All right. Now we're going to do crisscross. So do your right crisscross first or have your right leg on top. When you have your leg on top, it just gives you a little bit more stretch. So if you don't want a little bit more stretch, then just do normal crisscross. And we're going to lift up. And go forward. Stretch as far as you can. And you can lift your head up and move your hands a little bit further if you want even more stretch. And hold it there. So now you're going to take your right hand, put it behind your back, and your left hand reaches towards your right side. As far as you can. Do the same with the other side. Have your left 
arm behind your back and reach with your right arm. Now you're going to reach through the middle and roll it up. Alright, we're going to do the other side. So your left leg is on top, or you're in your left crisscross. And you're going to go straight. You're going to have your left leg behind like this. I meant your left arm behind, sorry. And your right arm behind. And straight and roll it up. I will meet you back when I'm done doing the opposite side. So next is your straddle stretch. <sighs> so I'm right here, okay? You don't have to be like all the way open like this. You could just be right here. Or maybe if that's too much for you, you could be like right here. But I'm all the way over here, which is okay. I might not, you might not be as flexible as I am, which is all right. So what we're gonna do is have our arms like this. We're gonna reach to our left side. This is my left arm, by the way. We're okay, so the left arm has the bracelet on. That's how you know it's my left arm. We're gonna reach to our left side. We're gonna scoop under with this one and reach over with this one. Reach as far as you can. You might be like right here, which is okay. And just hold it there. Now you're gonna go back to your T stretch. You're gonna twist your waist to your right side, right leg. You're gonna lift up and go over the leg. Like this. You might just be like right here. If you're not that flexible. Or maybe like right here. Or maybe, who knows, maybe you're all the way down here. Back to your T. Reach with your right arm. Scoop with your left and reach over with your right. Oh, and you want to keep your chest open. You don't want to be like this. So keep it open while you're stretching. You're going to go back to your T. Twist your waist to your left side. You bring your arms up and go over the leg. Keep your leg turned out like this. You don't want it like that. If you could see what I'm talking about. <laughs> You've got this. So now we're gonna go to our T. Lift up in the middle, well, yeah. Lift up in the middle and just go as far as you can. And if you can go all the way down with your chest, you can do your over split, which that means you can turn your knees in like this and basically go up and over into a middle split. Sorry if you can't see me. But I am in my middle split right now. Over. And just hold it there for a while. If you made it this far, you're like a superstar right now. <laughs> also, uh, keep... Stay there. Keep holding your split or whatever. But if you're like right here, you still want your legs to be turned out. Maybe you're like right here. 
but just keep your legs turned out. I could go down with my legs turned out, so that's why I could do the over split. All right, you hold it long enough. I'm sorry. <laughs> Shake it out, get a drink. I'm going to go get a drink, and we'll go on to the next thing. Oh, hi, you're back. All right, let's go on to the next thing. I'm back too. Wow. So the next thing, <laughs> we're going to be doing crunches. Yes, crunches. Uh, do as many as you can, but what we're going to do is eight crunches like this. We're going to spread our um, legs out like this. We're going to do eight crunches like this. We're going to invert them like this. Eight. We're going to straighten our legs down like this. We're going to do eight. We're going to bring them in. Eight. Straighten them up. Eight. And then that'll be the end of crunches. So let's do the crunches together. Also, don't go like this. You want to pretend there's a tennis ball right here. And like keep your neck away from your chest. So let's do the crunches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We did it! Also, when you did your crunches, sorry it's too late to say this, but keep your arms open like this. Don't go like this. <sighs> sorry, that was a bit too late to say, but good job anyway. Now we're going to roll to our stomach, put our hands right here, and we're just going to lift up so we can stretch all our abs that we just work out worked out <laughs> now everybody's favorite pose we're doing child's pose Alright, back to Cobra Pose. This is what the name is. And one more time with Child's Pose. Alright, good job. Good job. If your abs hurt or your stomach hurts or whatever right now, that's a good sign. You're doing amazing. Alright. Next, we're going to do 10 push-ups. So don't like take a super long break because we're already warmed up, we're ready to go, and just do 10 push-ups. Or if you can't do that many, do five or three. And if you want to challenge yourself to do more, I would recommend doing 20 or 25. That's what we usually do at dance, but just for now, for you guys, I'll do 10. So, full out push-ups, not on your knees like this. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Sorry if mine were, like, not super full out. I'm not the greatest at push-ups. But, um... Oh, and sorry if my voice sounds weird when we're doing, like, all the workouts and stretching. It's just, like, I'm actually working out, too, and stuff. So, like, my voice goes like this. And it sounds weird. But, yeah. Shake it out. 
I don't know what this move is, but shake it out. Do some chicken wings. Do the worm. <laughs> and, yeah. Alright, now we're going to do butterfly pose. You might be up here. You might be down here. It doesn't matter. Butterfly pose is basically just putting your feet together like this. Bring them close to you as possible. And basically have your legs down as possible, which mine are staying put. They're not going anywhere. <laughs> and just basically go up and over. Go as far as to the ground as you can. You might be right here, which is okay. Just go up and over. Forgot how much it hurt. Shake it out, do whatever. Usually when we shake it out, we think of popcorn, and we go like this. <laughs> All right, we're gonna lay on our back now. Maybe you're done with this workout session and all that stuff. You're like, I am done, this was enough for me. That's okay, you did amazing, you did stellar, you did splendid, good job. But now for those people who want way more flexibility and like, like, if they have flexibility and they want way more, like, workout stuff, we're doing back bends and back walkovers. So, good for you. <laughs> so, you're going to have your hands close to your ears like this. Both of them. So, you're basically going like this and just flipping it. And then you're just going to straighten your arms and straighten your legs. And lift your head off the ground and just rock back and forth. Alright, bring it down. You can roll out your back. Now we're going to stand up and go into a back bend. If you don't feel comfortable doing this, don't do it, okay? You need more practice. Keep doing all the warm-ups every day or maybe two or three times a week. And then you'll get, like, flexibility to do all this stuff. So if you can't do it, don't do it. Just work on it, okay? So we're going to stand up. Some people, when they do uh, back bends, they go like this. Do not do that. You could break, like, your arm or, like get really hurt. So just reach over to do it, okay? And just do your back bend. Lift one leg up. Lift the other leg up. Your one hand and your other hand and bring it down. This feels great, guys. You did stellar today. If you want to do a back walk over, sure, do it. Whatever. You're feeling great. You're feeling amazing. Handstand, do it. Do whatever you want. Maybe, guys, you're feeling great. Feeling staticky. Feeling great. You could feel like you can run around the house right now. This is, this is how I feel right now. If you don't feel like this, Go take a nap. <laughs> and have a great day. Thank you all for watching this video and doing some stuff with me. Or maybe you just sat on the couch and just watched. You know. Anyways, thanks for watching. Subscribe to join our damn team. Turn on notifications. And give me a giant thumbs up. You don't have to.